Hi everyone, welcome to another Green Lead Terrain Studio Update. This time I have a set of uh, industrial ruins that just got base coated with some red. They're going to be some orangey tan colors. We got a uh, metal grate for their second and third floors. They got boarded up windows, balconies coming off. Let's see this guy. Some extra foam core detail. There's a lot of extra uh, interior walls in this set. And the rest of the set is sitting over here. These are the larger pieces. And there's lots of little bits that are going to be put into these guys. So this guy's got some smokestacks going on. There's a communication, communication tower that's going to be sitting right there. Uh, a couple other things. This guy's got the big doors there's two of them it's like the big kind of repair station bay station they're all bent out obviously this is just a base color I threw down last night and then there is this walkway system raised walkway system bunch of pieces and I'm wondering from the client because I realize I don't have enough corners if he wants me to add a couple more corners because there's a couple of them that have the walkway coming out and there's a couple of them that have this little guy skirting around the edge so you can kind of match them up with that guy and I only really have this big corner but if we move this guy let me stick this guy right there if I made little corners like that they wouldn't be too time consuming Maybe a bit bigger because they might need two or I can maybe put, put two pillars on that the same little guy either way Some little guys just give you some more options because they're all straight uh, There's a lot of connectors from these guys so you can have lots of straights between the little guys But if you want to make it longer so I can get back to me on that So that's this set going on uh, I have three cups behind me full of little bits and stuff some tank traps and other things there's lots of other little pieces. Uh, there's walls and little other scattered guys back there too. So these are all kind of like the bigger pieces. And then for, as I was building ruins, I built out the ruins for client AB. He also has a set of Eldar pieces that are going to be kind of built into some ruins or the remnants of some ruins. And they've taken over and built their guys. So these are kind of the same motif. Now some like pipe work going on. Whoops, the pipes like just kind of end in certain places. This is pipes going on in there. It'll all be picked up and whatnot. I don't know what color scheme we're gonna do for this, and I need to build some more pieces for that set. So that'll get blackened, and then I'll paint it all together. Uh, yeah. So if you're interested in some custom terrain, uh, you can email me at greenleafterrain at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you with a quote. You can see there too. Forgot about this. Started the other pieces. I'm not 100% sure. I might not carve them all out. I might just carve a couple and make uh, some molds and make them in resin. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, thinking about it. And there's a stack of stuff for client T. TJ? TJ. Uh. A jungle that's gonna be jungle ruins so there's some ponds uh, other things those uh, templates are just sitting on top of it some of those guys are gonna be jungle pieces so there's that set as well that's coming up and I'm still gonna be finishing that infinity board I'm just getting all these little sets done first well they're not little they take a long time they got a lot of detail uh, yeah so again greenleafterrain at gmail.com. If you want to get a quote, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy wargaming.